My name's Lonnie Fulton from the Southfitters Outdoors. And guys, I wanted to uh, have a little update on, on uh, our large bait tank. Guys, I couldn't be happier on how things is working. Uh, we've made a few uh, minor uh, adjustments and I wanted to share those with you. Uh, last year, we were using the, the bucket here, or, or a filter, biological filter, uh, as a, a source of oxygen when it was falling down, now, or, or dripping down. And we've gone to, uh, uh, that worked, but I've also got uh, another source. We was also using this, uh, it's not unlike a live, ba uh, live well uh, water source to, uh, to bring oxygen. We, got, we have up, updated that just a little. And guys, and that we have a commercial uh, aerator that pumps uh, a lot of air into all of our tanks. And guys, I couldn't be happier with how this is working out as well. And uh, we have it connected to all of our, uh, our tanks. And you also will see something else that we've added. And this is this overflow. And uh, that was really important because uh, one day our tank, uh, our filter got plugged up and uh, lost about half my water uh, but i check it religiously and uh, found the issue and fixed it and so i want to suggest to you to go ahead and put an overflow uh, because over here uh, it, it could get uh, plugged up and uh, it it did and it just kind of overflow and uh, uh, guys got to put one of those in and also, I wanted to show you how much debris that this pump pulls up. Uh, I couldn't be happier with this. Now, uh, we did make uh, a couple of uh, experiments this year that, that didn't go particularly well. And that's kind of the whole thing about uh, these experiments is that I can do it uh, and sometimes fail. And then show you and share with that with you guys and how to fix that. And one of the other things I, I found that I really like, and that's this G juice, uh, guys. I don't get any credit for selling it, uh, but uh, this is something you, you need to use, and it helps condition the water. And uh, I, I couldn't have been happier when I come out uh, today to, to check the pH of my water, and it was down to under eight. So I couldn't be happier with that. Now there's another thing here you'll notice, and you can see that I have some aluminum foil. Well, actually, it's, it's bubble wrap that has uh, aluminum on both sides. And the reason I went with that, I put these to this tank, both tanks, into my garage. And I wanted to, uh, I had a bunch of bluegill, and I wanted to see how big I could get them. So we got a, a tank heater. Uh, the aquarium heater where you can dial it in and I had it set at 70 and it kept it all year all winter at 68 degrees uh, 500 watts and boy I'm sure glad I did that now I will say that I made some oops along the way I, I bought a uh, hundred fingerlings of uh, hybrid bluegills a cross between the bluegill and the green sunfish and uh, boy, I don't think I'd recommend that, guys, because uh, I don't think they were, they were as tough as uh, the wild uh, bluegills that we, we catch. And uh, we're going to do that this year. Instead of using uh, store-bought or uh, raised bluegills, we're going to use the wild ones. And I think the wild ones are tougher uh, than they are uh, raised in a test tube. Uh, I think it's really cool how they do that, but uh, for our practical purposes, it, it didn't work and I wouldn't recommend it. Now, if you are going to go and buy fingerlings, I would suggest to find a source that the guy can provide you with the food that he, they have been raised on and broken to to use. Now, one of the things we learned that you don't just switch the food source on them because they don't know what it is and uh, they put we, we had a success and uh, I would do it again but we're going to do it a little different now guys 
you probably hear some motorcycles. This is the first nice day and we've had here in a month. Uh, if you look on the national news, you see that uh, our area in Iowa is, is just had the worst flood we've ever had in history. And that's dating back over 100 plus years ago. Uh, but getting back to uh, the minnow uh, tank or bait tank, uh, it's done, doing, going really well. Uh, I will show you how well it's doing. Uh, a few weeks ago, when, when the weather was almost nice, uh, I went and caught a bunch of creek chubs and uh, shiners. And you can see, uh, I, boy guys, I don't know if I got that, you can see that. But as you can see, these guys are pretty dang uh, 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 lively. But I will, make some suggestions, uh, and I've already covered that, but I'll do it one more time just to make sure, because uh, this is take 126. And I certainly hope this uh, lapel pin uh, mic is working better than the other ones, but uh, go ahead and get yourself a uh, some air stones and a, uh, a way to introduce air. You can buy those at, uh, at just an aquarium pump. And uh, you can see we have them on, on, on all of ours. Uh, we are going to be adding uh, more tanks and we're going to be adding, uh, doing more experiments uh, for our needs. And uh, let me share them with you guys. Guys, uh, this is something we've never done before. Uh, never had a, a need to. But since we started this uh, fishing channel, uh, it's come uh, really important that we have a quality bait so when we get the whole crew out there uh, we got the best bait that we, we can have and uh, if you do are looking for some good catfish bait uh, go to our website and uh, they'll take you to eBay and you can buy some of the best think baits there is and uh, not to just that we sell it but it's funny and uh, that's the best stuff ever and it sells out every year and uh, I went down there and I bought a whole bunch of it and uh, I'm willing to share uh, my prize with you guys for just a few extra bucks. Oh, actually, it's a whole lot, but we'll get into that some other time. But if you need some good sink bait, uh, some good catfish bait, now I'll tell you what, guys, we spend a lot of time going out and a lot of energy collecting uh, some of the best bait we can. And some of you just don't have that opportunity. So maybe with uh, you going ahead and, and starting your own tank and... Uh, uh, catching a few uh, creek ch uh, chubs and some shiners and uh, maybe some bluegills when you get a chance. But it's really kind of nice. Uh, as soon as I get done here, guys, I'm going over to the creek and I want to see if I can't catch me some more of those uh, uh, creek chubs and shiners uh, because, boy, they make world best bait, uh, especially for big flatheads and uh, big channel cats. So, guys, I'm going to let you go and uh, go test this. Uh, the, the sound we have on this take and see if, uh, if we don't have to do it uh, another hundred more times. So uh, I hope wherever you are that it, it's not flooding and uh, the fish are biting. And we, and we really do appreciate you guys uh, uh, following our channel, uh, subscribing and commenting and liking. And uh, check out our website, it's Outfitters Outdoors. You can buy a hundred million items in there, everything in eBay. Uh, you can buy in there. We're uh, an official advertiser for eBay. So guys, uh, you can check out our other uh, video on how to make one of these things. Again, it worked great. I checked the pH and it's down under 8. Couldn't be happier. Well guys, uh, I'm going to let you go and uh, good luck. Later guys.